G'day guys, we've got an acids and bases chemistry question here today where we've got 25 centimetres cubed of a solution of NaOH required 28 centimetres cubed of 1 molar H2SO4, so sulfuric acid, to neutralise it. Write both the word and chemical equations for the reaction showing all correct state symbols. Calculate the concentration of the original NaOH solution. So this is almost like an introductory titrations question, I guess. So. What have we got? The first uh, sort of weird thing with this question is it's given to us our volumes in a um, you know cubic centimeters, where we usually use milliliters and liters. So we have one do a bit of a conversion. One cubic centimeter is equal to one mil, which is equal to zero point zero one liters. Cool. So that's the first sort of weird bit that we have with this one, but let's just go through and just tick off all the bases that the question is asking us to do. So the first thing is we have to write both the word and chemical equations. So let's start with the word one. So here we're going to have an as, uh, acid and a base, and we're going to get a salt and water. So that's literally the word equation, I think. So we have an acid. plus a base, and it goes to form an ionic salt, an ionic salt, and water. So that's the word equation. Now let's get on to the chemical equation. So what do we have? NaOH and H2SO4. So we have H2SO4 plus 2NaOH. Now, I know that it's going to be 2NaOH already because I've done questions like this before. And this is going to give a salt, which is Na2SO4 and water. Cool. So, but so that's our full equation. Now let's just we can here we have to all the correct state symbols. So let's go about doing that as well. We'll just put them at the base. So we have this is aqueous, 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 and liquid. Cool. Now. We can also write our equation as an ionic equation when we take out all of our spectator ions. And so all we have here is we're going to have two H plus ions plus two OH minus ions. And this is aqueous, aqueous. And that goes to give 2H2O liquid. Put these in brackets if we need to. Cool. So that's the word, and we've done a couple of variations of a chemical equation just to tick all the right boxes. And now I calculate the concentration of the original NaOH solution. Okay, so to do that, what we're going to do first is we're going to get our molar ratios correct. So what we're going to have is we're going to have the number of moles of NaOH is equal to two times the number of moles of H2SO4. And that's because you can see here, whatever moles of H2SO4 we have, we need two times that of NaOH. So first of all, we're going to find out the number of moles of H2SO4 we have, which we're going to use this 28 centimetres cubed of one molar H2SO4. So we get the number of moles of H2SO4 is equal to concentration times volume 
which is equal to 1, which is the concentration, times the volume. So 28 centimetres cubed is 0.028 litres. And that gives us 0.028 moles per litre to the neg 1. So what we can do now is we can do the, well, we can use our molar ratio to work out the number of moles of NaOH. So we just go the number of moles of NaOH. So here my handwriting, guys, is equal to 2 times this number, 0.028, which is equal to 0.028. 0.056 mole of NaOH. Cool. So finally, take it up here. We need the concentration of NaOH. And that's equal to the number of moles divided by the volume, which is equal to the number of moles, 0 0.056, divided by the volume, which is 25 centimetres cubed, or 0 0.025. And we find that to be equal to 2.24 moles per litre. Wow. Let me just rewrite that. 2.24 moles per litre to the negative 1 of NaOH. Cool. So that's our um, sort of problem, guys. The, I thought the sort of the trickier part of this problem was the fact that we had these centimetres cubed bits. And in exams, we might, like, you know, forget this sort of conversion factor that we had here. But apart from that, it's just a standard, you know, acid, base, salt, water. You write down the formulas, you get your molar ratios, you find your number of moles of one, which allows you to find the moles of the other using the molar ratios. And then this one asks us to calculate the concentration, so we did. So, you know, what's required with these sort of problems, guys, is a bit of practice. Try and do a few variations of them because there are always going to be ones in the exam that you've never seen before. So doing all different types will really, really help. So I hope this video helped, guys. If it did, you know, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Um, you know, I put out new videos on maths, chemistry, physics all the time. And I could use all the subscribers I can get. So do, a boy, do your boy a favour. Uh, but until next time, guys, just keep practicing and enjoy your chemistry.